you know, normally we're talking about companies and things that are happening, but we really thought it was important this week to talk about a, a very important topic related to tech, and that is that Nancy Pelosi visits Taiwan. So why does this have anything to do with, with, with tech, Daniel, and why are we even talking about this? Oh, boy. Well, I mean, you and I spent some time in Albany this week. We were meeting with the semiconductor research leadership uh, with IBM. But, you know, the state of New York is very invested. Uh, we've got a new $52 billion CHIPS Act that's going to have another few hundred billion dollars dedicated to research. And all this stuff ties together. You know, why are we even why did the CHIPS Act become so interesting and popular? Well, it turns out like 99.9 percent of our leading edge uh chip capacity is in Asia now, and the vast majority of it is in Taiwan. I think Taiwan accounted for in 2021, 50% of all semiconductor manufacturing revenue. Uh, we saw our output in the United States in 1990 drop from 37% to less than 10%. And so it's become a bit of a political issue considering Pat, nothing we do, including this podcast could happen without chips. So I know everyone wants to say software eats the world, but you and I like to say semiconductors eat the world because you can't run software on air. Um, so you're right, we're not a policy show, but this particular moment had people uh, in, a, in a bit of an uproar. So we've got this sort of balancing issue going on right now. So there is the diplomacy challenge with Taiwan because China still considers Taiwan part of China. And the US knows the importance of Taiwan and its role as an independent nation, a sovereign nation. And so we have to kind of balance this deal of, of, of deciding our own foreign policy, letting our relationship with China dictate our foreign policy, because obviously we have a lot of things going to and fro China, and we depend on that uh, on, on China for a lot of different things. But, you know, just this morning, Pat, up in my Twitter feed shows up, a China announces sanctions against Nancy Pelosi following Taiwan visit. That's in my Twitter feed this morning. Uh, Xi Jinping is doing military exercises around Taiwan right now because he, China considered Nancy's visit to be a um, conflict of our uh, diplomacy and our relationship with Taiwan, and it is raising the military profile right now. So I guess it comes down to, Pat, you know, talking about something that's very important, and that's, A, does the United States dictate its own foreign policy? <laughs> Or are we going to be, is this going to be dictated by China? Clearly, the decision for Pelosi to visit showed that we're going to dictate our own, which is something I feel a little bit positive about. But then I wonder who really is the right representative to be there? Because what I can't figure out is what the value equation is of sending her, um, if the sen especially if the chips and the semiconductors are the most important negotiating point between our, our di diplomatic relations that are going on with uh, China and Taiwan at this point. But Pat, long and short of it is all of the stuff <laughs> that we like to use, the laptops, the cell phones, um, you know, uh, the data center and servers. I mean, of course, we, we manufacture more lagging edge, more 14 plus uh, outside of Taiwan, but we've become hyper dependent on Taiwan. And if China decides to have a moment with Taiwan, similar to the moment we had, uh, we saw Russia have with Ukraine, um, we have a bigger problem on our hands because our dependency on China and Taiwan is exponentially higher than our dependency on Russia and Ukraine. And you saw the outpour uh, of, of, of uh, economic damage that that caused. So it's a big deal. It's a big moment. Are we sending the right person? Do we have the right strategy? Um, how does the CHIPS Act get us off of this dependency on Taiwan? It won't be immediate. Uh, but the long-term pad is that this is going to be a, a continued on challenge that people want to put their head in the sand and say doesn't exist. But at any point, it could be extremely damaging to our economy. I don't know where to start. I'm going to start right here. Um, third in succession after the president is Nancy Pelosi, right? So you have Biden, Harris, and then Nancy Pelosi, right? Uh, Biden certainly w wouldn't make the trip. Um, because that would probably be too strong of a signal to send. I don't think anybody wants Harris to go anywhere and, and represent the country, because quite frankly, I don't think she even uh, has a, a grasp on the CHIPS Act or, or economics that, that, that go into it. So that's, that's one, of the, one of the things I think that's, that, that's important. But um, this does beg the question, what would the U.S. be willing to go to war over, 
right? Uh, are we willing to go to war over a Chinese um, invasion uh, or shooting uh, missiles that actually hit land uh, in, in Taiwan uh, or not? But getting back to the technology point of it, so there are st there is still leading edge um, fabbing going on inside of the U.S. Right? Intel has uh, Intel Seven here in the U.S. and Micron has leading edge uh, memory memory fabs. But the challenge is the future, where it looks like uh, TSMC and, Sam and Samsung have the lead and. As, as, as technologists, we have to ask the question is, is it smart uh, or is it just way too risky to have the longest pull in the tent to deliver an end product be something that is fabbed uh, in countries that missiles are literally flying over the land. North Korea is popping off missiles to in, over South Korea, and now you have China popping off missiles over Taiwan uh, into the South China Sea. Uh, it's just too much risk. And if anything, it just puts a big exclamation point on, on, on the CHIPS Act and, and why we have to bring more of this leading edge manufacturing uh, and manufacturing for more analog devices that doesn't require leading edge, but does require a specialty type of processes and, and technologies. And I'll go even I'll go even a step further and say stopping at chips doesn't solve much. Okay, stopping it at, at chips because most of what we build in our critical infrastructure has a lot of its genesis in China, right? Uh, final manufacturing, a lot of it is done in China now. The military is a little bit different, but I'm talking about banking, I'm talking about healthcare, and I'm talking about telecommunications. Why do you think China basically banned U.S. companies from operating in Chinese critical infrastructure, right? But we still keep propping up uh, China and doing business as U.S. companies with critical infrastructure with China. And I think now's the time where I think uh, the U.S. government and states need to pass some sort of uh, law or regulation. Again, similar to China. I'm not picking on China here. Just doing exactly what China does uh, with uh, to us, which is uh, having all critical infrastructure, all the way from chips to final assembly, done outside of China or in a country that we feel safe around, like. Mexico, right? Uh, I think that would be a great place. We can't afford to do that in the United States. We could very much protect Mexico if somebody tried to, to uh, invade it. The other thing I'd like to see, Daniel, is China has a rule that you can't own more than 49% of a company if you open up in China. So if you and I wanted to open up uh, a place in China, 51% of that has to be owned by a China entity, right? Chinese uh, companies can open up in the U.S. Re with reckless abandon. They don't need a, they don't need an investor. They can also buy land, right, which they have in Texas next to military sites, uh, um, without any oversight at all. Listen, I don't like bureaucracy. I don't like government overstepping. But let's just get smart about this. If, do, how can we not view this uh, as a threat? Yeah, you hit it on the head, Pat. And, uh, you know, we're not 100% uh, aligned here, but I think we've got a lot of common uh, vision here for what needs to be done. It's a fascinating topic. There isn't necessarily a right or wrong answer, but we're going to see how this plays out over the next few years.